As we were reaching the end of the main game, Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet presented us with many instances of Paradise being mentioned. More specifically, the Paradise that Professor Sada or Professor Turo were trying to create. That, of course, gets us thinking not only about fruit, but also about serpents, amongst some other things. So hey, I'm not so a strainer, and what about Paradise? Let's get into it. As I said, Paradise is mentioned when the AI is talking about Area Zero, or when we read the professor's journals throughout our descent. And as we reach the final part of the way home, we see that our Coridon or Miraidon is the guardian of Paradise, being there to protect it from something. So of course, hearing the word Paradise takes us right back to the Garden of Eden, where the tree of knowledge of good and evil are and the forbidden fruit is as well, and that... Well, that pairs pretty well with some of the mysteries we have in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet as we head into the final part of the DLC. As we get closer and closer to the Indigo Disc release, we seem to be getting to the point where Terrapagos is having some kind of power that gives it access to a timeless dream world where all concepts, all knowledge is, starts becoming more accepted, especially after the Crystal Pool situation in Kitakami. That pairs very well with a certain tree in Paradise. The tree of knowledge of good and evil is not named like this because of having knowledge of good and evil, but very likely due to the use of a figure of speech called a merism. The use of opposing concepts in order to say, quote unquote, everything. So it would be the tree of knowledge of everything. And that, to me, is very much like the Rapagos. The Forbidden Fruit, or at least the most famous iteration of the Forbidden Fruit, is an apple. But that isn't 100% a fact, as there are many interpretations of what this fruit could be, ranging from figs to pomegranates. And so, keeping up with the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet theme, it could very well be a peach. The Peach Pokemon is another one of those recent mysteries of Scarlet and Violet, a DLC mystery, showing up or partially showing up in Kitakami. But here is where things get a bit twisted. In the story, the serpent tempts Eve into eating the forbidden fruit, but here, it seems like the peach itself is the one tempting people by offering them what they want. The serpent, on the other hand, seems to be the guardian. While Coridon's paradox name is the Winged King, Miraidon's is the Iron Serpent, and I do believe that their lizard-like nature is there to reflect that same concept of the serpent. So, just like in the Momotaro folktale they decided to twist the Loyal Three into being the villains, I think the same is happening to the story of the Paradise. And so, the Peach Pokemon would be the one tempting as well as the Forbidden Fruit itself. And, pairing that with the Momotaro inspiration of this Pokemon, there's a big chance that there's a third serpent inside of it, very likely a new, hatched form and not a new Pokemon. That also means that this Pokemon came from or was close to the tree of knowledge of everything or of good and evil, meaning Terrapagos, which we already suspected from the peach here in this page from the mysterious Scarlet and Violet books. And for it to be away from there, someone must have taken it away, just like Eve ate the forbidden fruit in the original story. I think the best bet as to who took the peach home is actually just Heath. He was the one that explored the most in Area Zero. He was leaving his team behind to be found unconscious with a phantom memory or leaving his team behind to find the indigo disc. But where did he take it to? I think it was Unova. It's hard to say for sure, of course, but I wouldn't be surprised if Heath was from or left for Unova, given how Briar seems to be from around those parts. Maybe their family eventually settled there. They might have even settled in Verbank City, as every time I look at the gym badge from the Verbank City gym, I feel like it looks so much like the toxic chains that they might just be doing some kind of retcon and having that be because of the legend of the toxic chain Pokemon or something. But anyway, just like in the original story, eating the forbidden fruit unleashed original sin upon the world, removing the pitch Pokemon from Area Zero unleashed it upon the Pokemon world. And slowly but surely, it is tempting people until it gets closer and closer to its place of origin. The tree of knowledge of good and evil, of everything, what we in the games call Terrapagos. And maybe then, it will be able to hatch and show its true form, that of the tempting serpent. And that is all I have for you today, just a little bit of exploration of the paradise concept in Scarlet and Violet. But what about you? Do you think there's something inside of the Peach Pokemon? Let me know in the comments down below. 
And now, like the video if you like it, dislike if you don't, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content, and also ring the bell so you know when the next video is out. You can follow me on social media and Twitch, I see there Wednesday to Friday, all the links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.